everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's been a little while since we posted any Ragnarok X Next Generation content, but we are back at it today with a look into a few new NPC favors that have come available with the new updates and map additions. Before we get too far into today's video, we want to take a quick second to highlight an amazing tool for all ROX Next Generation players and mobile gamers. This video is produced in collaboration with LD Player, a lightweight and fast Android emulator for PC. We love the smooth gameplay and the way that it supports such a stable network connection. This really leaves you with better playtime and less lag. We also really appreciate the option to log on to and play on multiple accounts at once. No need to waste time questing one account at a time anymore. If you're interested in trying out LD Player, check out the link in the description below Below to download it from the official website. Now back to our topic for today, which is our newfound NPC favors. In order to find the information we need about these new NPCs, we gotta hit the books. Once you log on to ROX, look at the top right of the screen and click on the pouring icon. Then open up your Academy handbook and turn to the NPC page. This is where you can find info on all your favorite NPCs, check out which ones you've received favors from, and which you have yet to complete. As you can see, there are three new ones for us to explore today. Real quick before we dive into each of these, I want to give you guys a quick PSA. As you all know from our previous NPC videos, you can give up to five gifts a day to each NPC in order to build towards your 100% completion for the favor. Just be sure you're giving the right things. Cause with these guys, if you give them something they don't like, it will actually reduce your total percentage and make it a longer process to receive your favor from them. Our first new NPC today is the toys. The toys can be found in Rose Red Tavern in Prontera. His favorite gifts are the doll pendants and starlight snails. These gifts can both be purchased in the exchange center if needed. The doll pendant is pretty readily available, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And if you're having a hard time finding the snails, you can fish for them. Our next new NPC is Patty. She can be found at the Desert Green Tavern in Morok. Her favorite items include Lake Bed Pearl and Rainbow Coral. Both of these can be bought at the Exchange Center, or you can fish for them. The last new NPC for our video today is Kao. Kao can be found in Payon, and their favorite gifts are the Leaf Bookmark and Amethyst. Again, you can purchase both of these in the Exchange Center, or take up your tools to garden and mine the gifts for yourself. After you've completed the goal of getting that bar to 100%, you'll then be gifted with some stylish headgear from each of these NPCs. All of these pieces will give you greater shine points. And as you know, the more you create costumes and headgear, the greater your shine points will be. So then you can use these points to improve your fighting attributes. Plus they make a really bold style statement. So these headpieces will help you in multiple ways. We hope that these favors will help you in your Ragnarok pursuits and will be a fun new challenge. From all of us in the Krazop team, we hope you had a blessed and joyful Christmas and wish you all the best in this new year of 2022. Thank you for all your support and love this past year. It's been so much fun to begin building this channel and you're all a part of that through your interest in our content and your interactions with our videos. Happy gaming friends.